I'm not bringing another hooking back to a jetty in the middle of a ghetto. Buenos dias, mis amigos. I'm here still in Florida. I'm still in Okeechobee, and this is my final, final morning. So I've literally popped down just to have a few throws. I've been here a little bit of a while, to be fair, and we've managed to nail a nice fish. The sun is really starting to come up now, so we're probably gonna pack away probably in the next 20 minutes, half an hour. I'll show you what we've done. Have a deco. Oh, it's early doors. And look how misty it is, man. Will we get one? That's the question. No bloody clue. Absolutely no clue. That was a close shave. Great effort. Looks my own bag. <laughs> Put a little spinner on. The rod's a bit heavy for this, I'll be honest. Yes, fish on. Yes. I was wondering what was going on. It was quiet, it's a bass, yes. Yes, yes, yes! Get out of there. What are you doing? What are you doing in there? Bingo! Nice! You know what? I was thinking I was going to go home. And I just said, I do not want my first Floridian blank. Bingo! It's defo what we're talking about. Lovely bass. Lovely, lovely little bass. The mouth on him is just insane, isn't it? Last day in Okeechobee, and we've ended the day with a bass. That is how the script was meant to go. Didn't know how to work the petrol pump. Great start to a road trip. Hope I'm putting the right fuel in. having a little bit of a pit stop. It's a quite a long journey up to St. Petersburg from Okeechobee. St. Petersburg, it's on the East Coast. It's about 170 mile trip from where we've been. So plenty of driving to do. I was hoping, I was really hoping to maybe do a little bit of fishing, but we're mainly sat on the interstate and you don't really want to fish on the side of the M6, do you? So. Think we may have found our fishing spot. There's definitely seaweed, which tells me this is brackish water. Could have a chance of maybe some sunfish, redfish, maybe some tarpon even. But if we're really lucky, a snook. I'll be honest, I don't have a Scooby-Doo. I really don't. Let's go ask this guy. Hi, mate. How are we doing? I'm basically, I'm just traveling around Florida fishing. Uh-huh. And I'm heading up to St. Petersburg, and I was looking for somewhere to fish on my way up. And then I saw a sign that said fishing pier, so I was like, perfect. I'll tell you what, your best bet. Yeah. You got 30, uh, how many people are with you? Just me on my own. Just you on your own. All right. You got about $10? Yeah, yeah, it's $10. Yeah. You got a 24 hour pass. Oh, right. Okay. You're talking. Let me show you a picture of what was just pulled up. Oh, my God, a grouper. Yes. That was just pulled up on North Skyway Pier. Jeez. Just so. What is here? Grouper, I've caught shark, uh, there's catfish, sailfin catfish, uh, snook. Snook. Yeah, there's Tarpon. snook out in Bradenton. They're, they're killing some snooks. Thank you so much for your help, yeah, honestly. No I'm, I'm just fishing fanatic. <laughs> I love it. And if you do get something, I'll be running over you to you. Oh my God, let's see it, let's see it. <laughs> be going mental. I'm hoping one of these three rods, as soon as I get that one in the water, one of them's got to hit. They've got to, haven't they? Let's give it a go. I'd rather fish for free than pay. I think that's, the, that's the rule of life, isn't it? But <laughs> <laughs> so. Cool, thanks man. I'll let you crack on, I'll get fishing as well. Yes sir. Shout me if you catch something. Nice meeting you, Legend. man. Legend. 
Folks, I won't lie to you, that was a little bit of a disaster. Lost two spoons, got soaking wet, and it was the first time I've actually been cold since coming to Florida. Mm, not ideal. So we're just approaching now, coming up to where the hotel is, and I have to admit, it is a little bit of a dubious area. However, we are near a school, which means we should be all right, right? Schools are safe. Oh, wait. It's freezing cold. I've only brought shorts and t-shirt. I do have a hoodie and this jacket to keep me toasty. But it is cold and I'm wearing trackies for the first time since being here. Oh, don't know what that's gonna do to the fishing, mind you. Drink you can't get in England. Strawberry Fanta. What is better than a map? We love it. So where are we fishing? We're actually around about here right now. The Big Bayou. And we're sort of fishing along this ring. This is the first jetty that we're fishing. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Loads going on. I've been really working my way around these jetties and getting absolutely nowhere. And I was hoping to see a manatee. Pretty cool, isn't it? However, I have to admit, there's not much seagrass around here. Absolute brainwave. I've got the worms. Yes, fish on. Ha! <laughs> We've saved the blank. Look at him. He's cool. Get it. Oh, <laughs> that was close, wasn't it? Let's have a look at him. Look at that. You saved the blank. What an absolute beauty. Jeez. And honestly, every single fin on that fish is sharp. Jesus Christ. Off you go, son. Hey, pal. You are? Sorry? So it looks like I am now impromptu catching some geezer's bait for him. Not really sure how I feel about that, but I won't lie to you, I was slightly intimidated when he approached me, so I sort of agreed. But here we are. So, my general conclusion on the area. Shithole. <laughs> Being brutally honest, appreciate it. it has had a little bit of storm damage. It's not setting the world alight. I'll be truthful with you. Yep, we're in. No, 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 we're not. Got it all wrong. I think something did have a go on it then. Oh, something did have a go on it. Yeah, we're on. We're on. Oh, yeah, that's a nice fish. And it's one of those bream. This one's stripey eyes off. Oh, well. Just went that bit further out then, didn't we? And it's literally, they're taking it the second it hits the bottom. Yep. Oh, oh my God. Oh, it's off. Oh, that was an Exocet missile. I've, that was insane. I've never had any bite like that on a worm. Yes, we're on. Yes, babe. Oh, oh no, we might have to get in. Oh, he ended up back in the water. What a shame. Guy got to do what guy's got to do. <laughs> For the record, people, he stood behind me. They must be wondering why the hell I'm here. And I'm very much asking the same thing. Oh, that was big. That was huge. My God, I would have been, that was a bit American, wasn't it? I can hear them talking about me as well, which makes it even like, even more sketch. Yes, he's on. He's on, all right. Oh, he's off again. Whoa. Look at that rod. Maybe I was being too harsh with them. He's putting up a scrap, isn't it? <laughs> it's great. Rod. Bigger than I think, actually, that's why. It is. Whoa, that is quite a decent sized fish. Whoa, a few come in for him as well. Oh, he's off. What a shame. It was definitely bigger, wasn't it? We're on again. <laughs> this is class, absolutely class. Rogue micro fishing in some random town in, <laughs> in America. Oh, and he's off again, what a shame. And I am using braid for the record as well, which is never what you use for float fishing particularly. But does it really matter? <laughs> Got him. 
fight is insane. Oh, he's off. Don't we gonna land at any of these. Look at him go. So pretty. <laughs> I know it's not great that they're bouncing on here, but it's better than being live bait, isn't it? <laughs> I appreciate this is not the greatest fish care. I am aware of that. I'm not bringing another hooking back to um, a jetty in the middle of a ghetto. <laughs> Just using these worms up, aren't I? I could use them there, right? Okay, let's go. What a beautiful fish, and the rod's just gone. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just set off. S same type of fish. There we go. Beautiful fish. Really beautiful. Oh my God. Jeez. Well, folks, it's a brand new day. And look at this. Come out today and we're in this beautiful nature preserve. This nature preserve is called Weedon Island Nature Preserve and it's absolutely pristine. What we're going to be doing is we're going to have a little explore around this gorgeous, gorgeous backdrop which is here right in the centre of St Petersburg and we're also going to go and do a bit of fishing because it'd be rude to not go fishing when you're here. This is such a cool little place. Its background is actually Native American. So this used to be a Native American settlement. And I've got on good authority that if you actually went digging here, you'd find plenty and plenty of Native American artifacts. However, being the US government, they've shut it down like a 14 year old's house pipe. So I'm now just walking in and around the trees. And as you can see around me, there's loads and loads of little trails that you can do as you go through here, which is absolutely perfect for someone who doesn't really know what they're doing or is just looking for a casual walk. And that is exactly what I'm doing today. Look at this, it is absolutely beautiful. Walking in amongst the pine trees, the palm trees, there's so much diverse life here. That tells you immediately it's a great place to go fishing because if there's diverse stuff on the land, there's diverse stuff in the sea. It ain't that complicated, guys. It really ain't that complicated. Sorry, who knew tortoises were that quick? I think I've left a price tag on there. I have. There you go, 4 dollars You never know, could be the difference between a fish and not. That's the most bang average fishing thing I've ever seen. I don't know what isn't. This looks cool. I'm gonna try this spoon first of all, and then I'm gonna move up to a popper. Imagine just having somewhere like this in your city centre, just to be able to go and have a cast. If only I had a kayak. Dolphins over there, wow. That was mad, there was just a couple of dolphins in that bay there. There's dolphins and people. All the hunters are out. Yes, fish on. Yes, something hit that right on the surface. <laughs> Nice! Oh, what a bite! What a bite! I wasn't 100% sure on what we were going to catch off here. And I just threw it into that fast running water up there. And we've been absolutely slammed. Now, I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. Whoa! I don't actually know what this is. It's fighting incredibly hard though. And I've hooked it on the side of the head, which is far from ideal. But let's try and get him to somewhere we can deal with him a bit better. Can we get to that jetty and unhook him? Wow, what a bite that was. It's a ladyfish. That is a ladyfish, guys. It's not the Spanish mackerel or a speckled trout we were hoping for, but it slammed a top water. What a beast. What a beast. No, 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 no. It's a, it's a Spanish mackerel. I'm sorry. My mistake. Oh, it's a Spanish mackerel. There we go. Yeah. Beautiful. What a fish that is, guys. What a fish. Beautiful. And it's got some weed hanging out its mouth as well. Folks, how are we doing? What is going on? I definitely felt the need to say something after this video because it started off so great catching a lovely little largemouth bass. Woo woo woo, life's great. And it just took a bit of a turn that I didn't expect. I wasn't gonna make a video, but then I thought, well, what's the point in doing a travel vlog if you're not doing 
showing that bit. Yeah, I hope you sort of enjoyed this little mashup and apologies for not knowing the fish species, right? I know I'm a fisherman and I know a lot about fish, but I don't know every fish, all right? I'm not flipping Einstein of fish. I'm sorry, but I'm learning. I'm learning. Folks, thank you so much. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Really appreciate you watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I promise you, we've got so much more coming, and I mean so much more. Mad peacock bass, more snook. I'm losing track of what we've got to come. But we've got a lot. Tie lines, folks. Keep bloody fishing.